welcome back to the channel. I'm Vicki. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this cute spring sparkly vase. So the first thing I did was really clean the beer bottle, all the paper and glue off of it really well, let it dry. And then I put three coats of white acrylic paint on. A lot of times previously I have only put on one or two coats of paint onto a bottle, but I wanted it to be a little thicker, more opaque on this particular project. So that's why I did the three coats. You can see the little painter's triangles or crickets as my husband calls them to hold up the bottle once it's painted so that it's not touching the surface of my craft paper because that will get, make it get stuck. You will see a tiny dot on the top on the sides where the paint was still wet, but that's a lot easier to touch up later if you if you want to. So here you can just see the little dot that it leaves, so not too bad. The next color I'm going to use is this aqua green color. And I want this first layer to be pretty, pretty light, so I'm also going to mix in probably about half the same amount of white to make it a really pale aqua green. So I just use the paintbrush to mix it, and you just want to mix it really well. And then I ended up adding a little more white to make it that very pale color I was going for. Once it was thoroughly mixed, I started painting it about a, th I guess about a third of the way down. I'm. This is obviously going to be an ombre type effect, so. I thought a third would look nice. I hand painted the line around where I wanted the neck, the layer to start, but it would probably be easier to use painter's tape. Now, since the third layer is going to be covered with glitter, I did not go the whole way down on this layer. I just went down far enough that I knew the next layer would cover this color. Once that was dry, for the next layer, I took the same aqua paint and I mixed in two drops of black. I tried one drop first, but there wasn't enough contrast with the lighter color, so I added a second drop. But you do want to be careful adding the dark color because it will make a much bigger difference than adding in the white. You want to do a really good job of mixing in the dark color because I, you don't really want to swirl on this. Though it won't matter as much on this last layer because we're going to be covering it with glitter but again I freehanded the upper line but it would probably be easier to do with painter's tape and then I just gave the whole thing a fairly thick coat of this dark color So while this paint is still wet, just now I took I took my fine glitter and sprinkled it all over the wet paint pretty thickly. I wanted to make sure it was very sparkly. Then 
and I gave the bottle a little shake and I just set it upside down and sort of propped it up with the some of the paint bottles I had sitting around. And just to save the glitter, you want to take that piece of paper, fold it in half and pour it back into the container, at least as much as possible. Once the paint and the glitter were thoroughly dry, I did a fairly thick coat of Mod Podge over the whole thing. So I brushed it onto the painted parts and I sort of dabbed it onto the glittery parts to try not to lose too much glitter. Once the Mod Podge is dry, next and last step is to add your spring flowers. I have a bunch of different picks that I wanted to use. Um, I thought for a spring bouquet I wanted a nice mix of colors. So you can see I picked some white, pink, yellow, and some little purple. I think they're like heather. And since the beer bottle has that narrow neck, you really don't need very many flowers to make it full and for everything to stand up the way you want it to. So I just cut the stems off to make sure nothing was too too long though obviously I wanted this nice pretty pink one to be the tallest item and then filled in a little with a little bit of yellow and the uh, purple mm -hmm. 